with us, you never know where you might end up. This morning we got up, decided we wanted to go check out an antique store flea market that we've seen several different occasions, but never stopped. So we went there first. It was eh, so so. Then we decided to drive, what, 30 minutes to another town to check out another little antique store. I did find a Disney antique, a little Christmas Mickey Mouse nesting egg. And now, such a variety in our life, we are on the hunt for the grave of a notorious outlaw who used to hang out in these here parts around Porham, Oklahoma, and that outlaw would be Belle Star. Join us on this adventure. So we have been driving for miles. We are supposed to reach our destination at 12.30. It is now 12.53. And this is what we encounter. So apparently, the place that we need to be to find Bell Star's grave is on the other side of this dam where the road is closed. So we are going to have to backtrack and find a route to get back to the other side of the dam so that we can find this graveside. Okay, so after a detour, we finally made it to Younger's Bend. This is the home place of Sam and Belle Star from 1880 to 1889. Both lived here until the separate events of their untimely deaths. It remains the quiet final resting place of Bell Star. Bell Star said on the Canadian River, far from society, I hope to pass the remainder of my life in peace. Okay, so if I read right, we take this little path up through the woods. I hope. You think people are hunting out here? No. Not hunting too. Just wanting to make sure deer season is over. Stay on the marked trail. Well, I'm not seeing much of a marked trail. What sign is a marked trail? All right, there's an arrow, points this way, so you can see the trail is kind of covered up in leaves.
I wore the wrong kind of shoes for this today because none of this was planned. You can see we come up a little hill here. Okay, so now as we come up this little bend here, there's a clearing and I believe this is probably the grave site. Bell Star, born in Carthage, Missouri, February 5th, 1848, died February 3rd, 1889. Shed not for her the bitter tear, nor give the heart to vain regret, tis but the casket that lies here. The gem that filleth it sparkles yet. Sparkles yet. Okay, I couldn't read. Somebody left coins, bullets, sunglasses, flowers. I really don't know why there's a Nerf gun or a water gun. But this is the final resting place of Bell Star. Bell Star rode with the younger gang. She hung out with various gangs, but that was one of the more famous ones that people recall. And what I was reading, she met her fate one night in February. After a dance, she was riding home on her horse when she was ambushed. There's speculation about who did the murder, but it was a very violent death. She was shot multiple times in a very inhumane way. It was a brutal shooting, they said. Probably even with her own thought-off shotgun she was carrying. But it said that when she was riding home, well, when she was at the dance, that there was a guy that wanted to dance with her and she kept spurning his attention and that he followed her home when she left and he set up the ambush. She was convicted of horse theft. Nothing else was ever um, officially charged to her but the horse theft. But I heard she was a pretty tough old gal. And here she lays just outside of Porham, Oklahoma, on top of a hill, the final resting place that she desired. And I believe her old home place uh, is actually down below the hill. We're gonna see if we can check that out as well. I don't think her original home is still standing, but I think I heard and read that there is a replica. So that's it. Okay, I'm not going to go in past the gates because it's locked. And there's private property signs. There's one that's covered up right there. But that 
back up on that little hilly knoll there. It's supposedly the a newer replica of Bell Star's home cabin. But because of all this and the signs that we saw on the trail, I don't know if an individual has bought this place and they now live in that home, but we're going to respect the private property signs. Hope you enjoyed this little outing of where Bell Star's home place and burial is located. Cross that little wooden plank bridge and up the Mark Trail. It's not a bad walk. It's kind of an enjoyable little hike to the top to the graveside of Bell Star. Not come out with intentions of looking for Bell Star's cabin and grave, but we was just out enjoying a drive, and this is where it led. Go discover what's hiding in your backyard. As we were leaving, we noticed that through the clearing here, you could see the cabin a little better. Like I said, this is a reenactment of the cabin. It's not the actual cabin that she lived in, but it's supposed to look a lot like the cabin and setting, I think, in the location that her home place set. And her grave is just off to the left and up the hill a little bit.